You've heard a lot about IP addresses throughout this unit. Now, it's time to take a closer look into what it actually is. IP addresses. IP means Internet Protocol. It allows communication between networks. An IP address is a number that uniquely identifies every host on a network. An IP address has two parts. The network ID identifies the network the computer is on. The host ID identifies a specific device on the network. IP addresses can be very confusing because there are different formats available. Classifying IP addresses. There are five different classes of IP addresses and how they're identified. Class A is for large networks. The IP starts with zero. Class B is for medium networks. The IP starts with one zero. Class C is for the local area network. The IP starts with one one zero. Class D is for multitasking. It's also called a multicast address. The IP starts with one 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 zero. Class E is for experimenting. The IP starts with one 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 zero. You'll only learn about class A, B, and C because they're the most commonly used. Class A addresses. Class A addresses are for very large networks. The first octet is the network ID and the rest is the host ID. Because of this format, only 126 class A networks can ever exist on the internet. However, each class A network can support more than 16 million hosts. Class B addresses. Class B is for medium networks. The first two octets are the network ID and the rest are the host ID. There are 16,384 Class B networks on the internet. Class B addresses fall within the range 128.xyz to 191.xyz. Each Class B address can support more than 65,000 hosts. Class C addresses. Class C is for the local area network. The first three octets are for the network ID and the fourth octet is for the host ID. Each Class C network can accommodate only 254 hosts. However, Class C addresses can support more than 2 million networks. Submitting Submitting lets you use the 32 bits available in an IP address to create networks that are limited by the Class A, B, C IP addresses. You can create networks with flexible host limits. You can decide which part of an IP address represents the network ID and which part represents the host ID. Submitting allows you to use IP space efficiently and beyond the class A, B, C constraints. Also, it stops organizations from managing all of their devices on a single network ID. Subnets A subset is a network of class A, B, or C network. Subnets are created by extending the network IP host bits to extend the network ID. This creates a lot of flexibility. Subnets can have network ID of any length instead of sticking to the standard network ID length. Here's an example of how subbiting can change a network. The Class B address is 100.92.220.17. After subbiting, it's divided into two smaller subnets or networks, 100.92.260.15 and 100.92.230.13. However, to devices outside of the router, these two networks will still appear to come from the 100.92.220.17 IP address. If a packet is sent to the 100.92.220.17 IP address, the router will decide which subnet to send the packet to. Lesson Summary An IP address has two parts. The network ID identifies the network the computer is on. The host ID identifies a specific device on the network. There are five different classes of IP addresses and how they're identified. Class A is for large networks. The IP starts with zero. Class B is for medium networks. The IP starts with one zero. Class C is for the local area network. The IP starts with one one zero. Class D is for multitasking. It's also called a multicast address. The IP starts with one 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 zero. Class E is for experimenting. The IP starts with 11110. You'll only learn about Class A, B, and C because they're the most commonly used. Subnetting lets you extend IP addresses on Class A, B, and C networks. A subnet is the extended IP address. 